We looked down on the ground and saw a sort of a series of uh, what looked like rocks in a, in a formation. Sometimes you get clay pipes and the like out there, but this looked a bit different. Conservationist Joe Davis had stumbled across a giant ichthyosaur skeleton, a so-called sea dragon that existed at the same time dinosaurs lived on Earth. A lot of people spend their careers looking for something like this. My kids have now um, named me Jurassic, um, <laughs> so that's quite, that's quite amusing. A team of experts were brought in to lead the excavation in Rutland. What they unearthed is one of the most exciting finds ever for British paleontologists. Not only is this the, the largest ichthyosaur skeleton ever found in Britain, but it's also the, the largest complete skeleton of any prehistoric reptile found here in the, in the UK as well, which is an amazing, amazing find. The 180 million year old bones were carefully removed. Well, this is the complete ichthyosaur skeleton, 10 metres long, in a series of field jackets made out of plaster of Paris so that we could lift it safely. Now safely in storage in Shropshire, the skeleton will be studied to find secrets of the past. Will, will tell us about that snapshot of life at 181 million years ago. And we can only predict future climate changes by understanding how climates have changed in the past. This small-scale model shows what it would have looked like. The real size of this creature is staggering. To get an idea of just how large this ichthyosaur was, take a look at this. This is the skull of a killer whale, completely dwarfed by the enormous skull of the sea dragon. It was unearthed during a year of unprecedented discoveries. Last month, scientists announced they'd found this perfectly preserved dinosaur embryo in China. It's always been exciting to be a paleontologist. It's fantastic to find things like this. But now, in the 21st century, we have all sorts of tools at our disposal that previous generations of paleontologists never had. They really help us interpret the finds in a lot more detail than people used to be able to do. Detail from millions of years ago that can help us understand the world today. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Shropshire.